In this video, I'll show you how to add subtitles to a video in DaVinci Resolve. Hi, my name is David and if this is your first time watching my video tutorials and you get any value from the content that you watch, kindly consider subscribing, like the video and share it with your friends. I'm inside DaVinci Resolve website and uh, the version that I'll be using for this particular tutorial is DaVinci Resolve 17 and DaVinci Resolve 17 is free for anyone to use. Just make sure that you check out the tech specs or the specifications that your laptop needs to have so that you can use it. So that is out of the way. Let's begin by opening up DaVinci Resolve. So DaVinci Resolve is opening up and uh, for the purposes of this video, I already have a video ready to subtitle. So that's out of the way. Have a video that you want to subtitle uh, ready to go. So there we have it. Let's check out the projects. So the first thing that you need to do is that you need to add a new project. Click on new project. Let's say call it add subtitles. Just click on create. It's going to populate the DaVinci Resolve canvases. Uh, and uh, you need to take a note of this. It's selected uh, It's by default. It, it's other cut but we need the media so that we can add media clips or a video inside here. So what I need to do here, just navigate to the folder with a video I want to subtitle, just drag and drop it and click on change. And uh, what we selected is that uh, we wanted to change the frame rate. Now, once we do that, just come to the edit tab. From the edit tab, you can just drag and drop your video to the timeline and there we have it. The video is on the timeline. The next thing that I'll recommend that you do if you're doing this for professional uh, purposes, that is the subtitles, just come down to the gear icon at the end. Just click on it and once you click on it, click on the subtitles. Once you click on the subtitles, by default, the maximum characters per line is 60. Now this is a lot of text for you to be reading through. 60 characters on screen is a lot of text. If, it, if it's not a lot of text, then you'll need to use a very small font size for it to fit in your particular window or in your video once you export it. The maximum caption duration, uh, this is maybe the default, but you can always change this. And the maximum characters per second are 30. Uh, normally, uh, when it comes to subtitling and captioning of videos, uh, the recommended maximum characters per line is between 32 uh, and 42 characters per line. For example, Netflix uses 42 characters per line for different languages. So let's say we go with 42, 42 characters per line. And let's uh, say we have a caption duration of about seven seconds. So there we have it. Uh, and then we can say that the maximum characters per second, normally uh, something between 13 to 17 is good. 16 is potentially the sweet spot because this means that the characters per second, how many characters are being displayed per second. And this uh, really influences the readability of the text on screen. So let's say we go with something like 20. Uh, just reduce that to 20. Uh, but if you wanted to calculate the number of characters per second you need, you need to know the maximum characters per line. For example, if you have two lines, 42 times 2, 84. And then let's say you divide by a caption duration of 7. Then you need uh, to have maximum characters per second, let's say to about 12. So that's how you calculate the characters per second. But let's go with 20 for these purposes of this video. Just click on save. Now that is out of the way. To add subtitles, you'll need to come to the timeline here, just above your video, right click, and click on add subtitle track. And once you click on that, you'll notice that there's a new subtitle track. To your right, just next to the playhead, that's, uh, that's red, just right click and click on add subtitle. And the minute you do that, what's going to happen is that a new subtitle block or caption block is going to be added. And a new pane is going to appear on this side. And this pane really is where all the work is done. So let's say we want to start subtitling this video. 
So the first thing I recommend is drag the audio track slightly down so that you expand this particular uh, interface. Secondly, position your playhead right where the dialogue begins and then move your subtitle. Now once you move it there, you clearly know that this particular subtitle starts here. The next thing I always recommend is, first of all, ensure that uh, this particular selection is uh, ticked, use track style, that's important. And then you can also adjust the style of the particular subtitles that you're working with. So what you can do here is you can work out the font that you want to use, uh, the font face, the color, the size, the spacing, the cunning, the alignment, and also the positioning of the different subtitles. And you'll notice uh, the highlighted one is where the subtitle is at the moment. Now, I wish this was available for individual subtitles, but unfortunately, it's not. So you can also have some drop shadow if you're doing subtitles like this without any background. And you can have a stroke. For example, this one has a stroke. And then you can have a background. Now, if you're providing open captions, that is burning in subtitles in your video, then having a background is a good way uh, of grabbing the attention of the viewer. But unfortunately, if you have lower third graphics in this particular uh, video, then this uh, might affect the viewability of that due to the positioning, uh, since that you can only uh, change the position for all the captions if you change this particular uh, position of the X and Y axis. So let's say we want a background for our subtitles. Click on that and you see there's a background. Next up, I wish that this background adjusted itself with a subtitle. That's an easy thing to do for DaVinci. I hope that they'll pull this off. So let's just adjust the width. Just move it up. I'll have something like 0 0.5 something. 0. Point, let's say 0 0.519. That's what we want. And then we go for a height that might accommodate two lines. Let's go up. Let's say something like that. 0 0.183. Uh, so that's good. So that's out of the way. Uh, now we're ready to start captioning our video. Now, the only unfortunate part is that this particular process is more of a manual process. So what happens here is that you'll need to play this particular clip to the uh, point where you feel that, yes, that's enough uh, for you to subtitle. And as you listen, you type out inside this particular caption box what you hear. It's more of a tedious process. And in the next video, I'll show you how to import SRT subtitles in DaVinci Resolve uh, so that if you had the subtitle file available, then you make the work easier for yourself. So let's begin. So I'll just click on play. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. So up to this particular section, uh, we can just click on that. With the recent update, on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Now, full stop. Let's just try and check out this particular subtitle. If you'll notice, the subtitle goes to three lines. So what this means is that the readability of this particular subtitle will be affected. So what we need to do, we can say with the recent update on the YouTube interface, let's just stop there. So we can just come back here, interface, we can just cut this out and then come to the on and press on enter. And then we have a better subtitle and something else that we might need to adjust is the alignment. Let's say we want this centered. So there we have it. it looks better. So we can listen and then cut out. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now we can just come here, just move that back and then move this particular subtitle. Right click here. Click on add subtitle. Click inside, go to caption, 
and then let's just paste in what we just cut. Let's say we want to, uh, to change it at around 2. There we have it. Looks way better. Let's play. It's easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. So just uh, move this up to this particular section. And all we need to do is just uh, keep uh, keep adding subtitles until you're satisfied with your results. So we'll just uh, keep adding them like this until you get to the end. So that's more of manual work and it takes time if you're working on a long video. So sometimes it's best if you can just outsource this particular process and then concentrate on editing the particular video. So uh, there we have it. Uh, we can just do another one. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com. So let's say we just uh, add here. Let's say, hi, my name is David. Let's just enter from freelancerinsights.com. So looks good. Uh, and then we can just uh, pull this back. We just pull it and there we have it. So you'll just keep adding the subtitles until you're done. So let's assume that you're done subtitling uh, or adding the subtitles to your video. You'll need to deliver your project. So all you need to do to deliver your project is you need to come down to deliver. And once you come to deliver, there are a couple of options here. So you'll have to deliver the video. And then there are a couple of advanced settings here. So you'll need to check out uh, that everything is as you need it to be. Uh, and if you wanted to add the subtitles, let's just scroll down. If you wanted to click uh, to export subtitles, just click on that. You can uh, export it as a separate file, burn into video or embed captions. To export the subtitles, you can also export as an SRT, SRT without formatting or a web VTT. So that's good. Uh, and include the following subtitle tracks in the export. Let's say we want to burn in the subtitle. Just click on that, burn into video. So that's uh, set out and then click add to render queue. Uh, let's just say add sub subs. Just click on save. Just click on render all. And depending on the length of your video, then this is going to render out the whole video the way you wanted it to render out. So since there's no more content, you see how fast it's going. So it, it shows you the progress on this particular side. Uh, and just give it a couple of seconds and it will be done. So it really depends on the length of your video uh, and what you want to do with the particular subtitles. So if you also wanted to export them individually, you can do that. So there we have it. Uh, it's already done and it's exported as an MOV. So always ensure you've checked out uh, what version uh, it's exporting out as. It's it's uh, in the videos. And then just click on double double click on it. Let's just say we want to open with VLC. Just click OK. With the recent update on the YouTube, and you can also appreciate the subtitle is available. Yes. It's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com. So that's how you can add some titles to a video in DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video has been educative and informative. If you like this kind of content, kindly let me know in the comments below. And until next time, kindly subscribe, share the video and stay safe. Thank you so much for watching this video.